Guys, this tutorial is um, of how to install Windows XP on your Mac using Parallels Desktop. So, I'll put the link in the description box. This is where you download. Yeah, so, I already got it. And this is where you get Parallels. You enter your email, see download, and click download. I already got that. I'm going to open up Parallels. We're going to click plus. Click on install Windows or the OS can give you your image file. This operating system found you couldn't find it automatically or locate it automatically by image file. We did to my desktop. I'll drag and drop the image file. Continue. And if you do not have a credit key, uncheck this version where you got the credit key. I'm not putting you express installation. Continue. I will use Windows for gaming. Continue. And I'm going to, so Vision, she's going to take 1.5 gigabytes. So go ahead, create Alice on Mac desktop. You customize stuff. But I will customize. So continue. Let's create your virtual machine. Right over here's the Alice. Stay created. Options. Start view. Window, share, show, full screen, and I'm going to use this hardware. I want people to remember that you use two CPUs, so memory, boot order, uncheck, um, network, graphics, you want 500 and um, 12 megabytes for graphics memory. Um, I want to share Mac printers, share network, which is um our Wi-Fi sound. We I'm going to use Mac volume, USB, Bluetooth. I will share. I want to share all the stuff. So hard disk. We can leave this alone. Floppy, CD, and DVD. Choose image file. So this is where my ISO is. So, so go ahead, go ahead and click on continue to play the virtual machine. See, so go to full screen mode. Go ahead and uh, view, exit. So this is going to go through a bunch of things. Like so, click on it. Press C to create partition. Press enter. Select the partition. Enter. Select format the partition using NTFS file system quick. And then I'll start format. I'll pause the video. It's the, this is the Windows XP set wizard. Next. So once it's done doing the setup, it's going to automatically uh, restart the machine. So right now it's Installing devices, so I'll pause it. So, next. So, I'm just going to hit the name. I'm going to call this um, PVM Win XP. So, I'll put in my password. And type my password. Next. Next. I know it's installing um network uh code connect. So I'll pause the video and come back when it's done. This is what you want. You want um uh, tactical settings next 
Uh, I'm gonna call it um work group. Yes, make it as a following domain. I'm gonna call it a Windows XP. Next. So I'm gonna check my username and password. So far the video. Standing in long lines so you can buy things for 70% off is the ultimate act of love. Spread fire only forgetting that it is written. Half off 70 inch flat screens. A picture you'll love at a price she'll love. That is just the advertisement for an inexpensive television. <laughs> I am sorry, but I must Uncle Scrooge McDuck you all and save the bar Koopa. Looks like the has no one. Um, huh? Um, so, uh, once the step process is done, you're going to click on click on finish to restart your virtual machine. Right now, let's. Getting everything ready. And now that we got everything installed on it, here's what I want to do. Install Parallels Tools. Click on Etchings, Install, and should have inserted the CD. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to um, the computer, Parallel Source. Go to here, and this is going to start installing Parallels Tools. Okay, so I'm going to show you a bit more stuff when it's done. So I'll pause the video and come back when it's done. Um. The install, um, so, the install, um, has so the Parallels tools cannot be installed, so, I'm gonna, so, try, try restarting your virtual machine. Click on reboot to reboot your virtual machine and try installing again. 
So I'll pause the video and we're gonna load up. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the hardware. Cancel this. Just go ahead and uh, install Parallels Tools. Go to computer, parallels tools, and open auto on that exe. I'll pause the video, and you should not have another error message. And there's not another error message, so this is supposed to install. We go ahead and restart our virtual machine. I'm just gonna make it bigger. I'll pause the video and I'm going to show you a couple more things. This is Windows 8 and this is the Windows XP application. So, and then, go ahead and open up the internet. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and enter a coherence mode. I'm going to hide it in a Right click on the virtual machine, add view, and select enter current. And this will enter. This is the internet right here. Since the uh, current mode works on Windows XP, so exit current mode. And, um, I'm going to show you how to connect a flash drive. That's what I'm going to do right now. So, go ahead and plug my 32 gigabyte flash drive into my computer. So, connect it to Windows. And this is going to uh, disconnect it from your Mac. And connect it to um, the virtual machine. So, computer. Go to here. Go to computer. And I'm going to format my flash drive to um, Feather 2. And I'm going to name it, um, Untitled. I'm going to call it, um, El Capitan. Start. So, I'm not going to, I'm not going to format it. Simple. We'll cancel this. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, power off the mach machine. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my flash drive. And that's all for today. So please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.